Have you seen the recent video of Mark Zuckerberg introducing Facebook to the metaverse? You're probably wondering, what the heck is a metaverse? First and foremost, it's one way Zuckerberg chose to avoid talking about leaked documents, but also, it isn't something created by Facebook. The metaverse has been around for quite some time, and it all happens on the internet. To explain what the metaverse is, it is an online concept that allows people to be immersed socially with other people. Social media sites are like metaverse light, since you can do all those things over there. However, the metaverse goes beyond just social media, because it could be something like going into virtual reality. It's like entering a digital or virtual world. Right now, VR is already a thing, and VR games and programs allow people to go online to chat, interact, and have fun with other people. The metaverse also opens up the possibility to make money. That's right, anything online can be a place to make money. That's where NFT games and other projects come in. The real good news here is that it has been going on for years. People have been making money in the metaverse, but nowadays, due to the rise of NFT, it will only get bigger and better. That's why, here at the Game Mag, we have compiled a list of five metaverse NFT games or projects that you might want to check out. Number 1. Chili's Let's start this list with Chili's, and the name has nothing to do with what it specializes in. Chili's is a platform where it gathers sports lovers alike. This one isn't really a game, but it involves a lot more into the investment aspect involving different sports teams and entertainment all over the world. Chili's is associated with Socios.com, and if you don't know what Socios is, it is a fan engagement site. The concept applies to Chili's, where fans buy a fan token, which is the NFT item. Using that fan token, you can make your voice be heard in your favorite team or whatever it is that Chili's or Socios have to offer. Use the same token to get rewards and other benefits depending on what you want. Chili's might not be for everyone since not everyone is into sports, but that's not a bad thing. Just to mention some of the entities associated with Chili's and Socios as well, we have the UFC, Paris Saint Germain, FC Barcelona, Juventus, OG, and so much more. The rewards you get will vary, but that's pretty much equal to making money. And don't forget about the interactions. There's also some speculations that Chili's will extend to US based teams like those from the NFL or the NBA, but that hasn't been official yet. Number 2. So Rare The next one is somewhat related to Chili's because it is also affiliated with sports. We are talking about So Rare, which specializes in football, or soccer if you're American. This is like those people who play fantasy football, but in So Rare, you can actually use real money to build up your team. This is where it gets interesting. You buy a pack of cards with real money. The cards that you have are based on real players, and SoRare has over 200 licensed clubs in the football world. Different cards have different rarity levels, from limited being the lowest to unique being the highest, because only one player of that rank will be released. What you do is that when you pick the cards that you want, they will be dependent on the real player. Let's say you have a Lionel Messi card. The better he performs in his games, the more points you get on your Messi card. Those points can accumulate into rewards that you can get. However, surprise surprise, Messi is one of the hardest cards to get out there, so you can rely on your other cards for the time being. People from multiple countries can actually buy their NFT so rare cards now. If you're interested, you can use our affiliate link in the description to get you started. Number 3. Decentraland we previously discussed Decentraland back in our top 5 real estate NFT games. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out in the YouTube card or through the link in the description. Anyway, that's what it is when it first started, where you can buy plots of land using cryptocurrency. What you do with your land is up to you, although it's kind of tricky to buy land today due to the rising demand of these games. This is a very straightforward game because it doesn't stress you out, and if you're creative, that's where you can make some real money. You can make some in-game items that can be sold for money and other equivalents. The thing that makes Decentraland closer to the metaverse aspect is that you can use VR headsets to roam these lands. Players can interact with other people, and it's not always about making money, because that's what the metaverse aims to do, which is to bring people from all over the world into a virtual world and economy. If you like VR and just creating stuff, you might want to try out Decentraland. Number 4. CryptoVoxels CryptoVoxels is a name that you probably heard a couple of years back. This game was originally released back in 2018. And once again, due to the resurgence and popularity of blockchain gaming, CryptoVoxels has found new life, although not that it needed it. Let's just say that it's busy and booming right now. It is a virtual world where players can use their cryptocurrency to buy land and many other things. There are actual sales from time to time for new plots of land, and the demand is so high that these things sell out faster than a Taylor Swift concert. The graphics do remind you a bit of 
of Minecraft with everything having their blocky pixelated aesthetics. Then again, CryptoVoxels does allow the input of images and photos. This is one of the interests in the game, where some players hold art exhibits for other people to see. That's where you can make some money as well, where the game allows you to make some in-game items that you can sell to make a profit. The competition in the market is high, but with a game like this, that's expected. You just have to be a bit more creative, and there are a lot of things to do. CryptoVoxels does like the VR aspect, but that's not a bad thing. Number 5. Netverk Nope, I said that correctly. The last NFT game on our list is Netverk. This one is fairly new, very ambitious, and has a clever name to it. It is pronounced Netverk, but if you look thoroughly, it is Net and VR with a K. That's because this NFT project utilizes VR. The ambitious part is that it aims to be something like Ready Player One. If you haven't seen that movie, don't. But the concept is that people are living their lives in a virtual reality world where they can make items and use those items. That's the same for Netverk, although not really at that point yet since the movie is pretty much science fiction and also the game doesn't suck. The state of Netverk at this moment is that people will buy plots of land if they are still available since as of now, land will be limited. Using their creativity, people can also make some very good-looking items that can be used in the world of Netverk. Naturally, people can turn a profit with these creations if they ever sell. The visuals of this project are very compelling and might hit close to realism sometime in the future. Netverk also has a ton of affiliations and partnerships with other entities. If the speculations are to be believed, large companies and entities can also take part in this endeavor. They can buy ad space and even sell some of their merchandise online. This gives the users convenience and incentives especially since buying those items may be done through crypto and other options. The project is still in its initial stages and can potentially get bigger as the years go by. These are just five of the many NFT games and projects that the metaverse has to offer. Experts say that this market will only grow bigger and better as the months come. With the potential investors wanting to get in, this is only the start, and the game mag will have more of these games and projects in the future. If you love this list, leave a like and even give a comment to let us know what's on your mind.